This picture of a rock was bought for $1.5 million as NFT. A 12-year-old boy made 2.9 crores from his NFT collection called Weird Waves. And it doesn't stop there. Many items on the internet are now auctioned as NFTs. However, concerns are rising about NFTs not being eco-friendly. And it's true. Today, let's bust it. Non-fungible tokens, aka NFTs, are digital items such as images, videos, animations, GIFs, etc. that are embedded into a blockchain. If you want to know what NFT is and how it works, check out a video right here. NFTs have become enormously popular, with sales skyrocketing in the recent times. However, NFTs can have a devastating environmental impact, solely because of the way they are created and sold. But how? NFTs are Ethereum-based tokens on the Ethereum network. Ethereum, in simple words, is a technology that lets you send cryptocurrencies to anyone with a small fee. Most platforms that offer NFTs require buyers to pay via Ethereum. Why is Ethereum important and why is it relevant to the topic? I'll tell you. Ethereum is NFT's currency. Ethereum is also a proof-of-work coin. Mining a proof-of-work coin involves solving complex mathematical problems using computers that consumes a lot of power, thereby contributing to more carbon emissions. I know what you're thinking. A computer solving complex mathematical problems doesn't sound like it can harm the environment. But here are some stats to prove otherwise. Ethereum is estimated to use a roughly 62.56 kilowatts of electricity, which is more energy than countries like Kuwait, Switzerland, and Israel use. And just by this practice, 31 metric tons of carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. So what's the alternative? There are platforms that use other cryptocurrency technology with less energy-intensive alternatives. Here you can stake other crypto coins which serve as collateral. This is called proof-of-stake system and it does not require computers solving complex problems in order to mine coins. So it's less energy consuming. Ethereum itself is proposed to switch to proof of stake system called Ethereum 2.0. According to researchers, this will bring down the energy consumption by 99.99% as compared to the proof of work system. Could this finally be the push for NFTs to go mainstream? Let us know in the comment section below. Hey, thanks for watching Logically India. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We make fact-checking episodes every week. So if there's anything you want us to fact-check, let us know in the comment section below. Or download the Logically app for quick fact-checking services. This is Team Logically, signing out.